Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought I would address a ton of questions I've been getting regarding the new patterns that are available during the Medley Fair Summer event. I will try to cover everything I've learned about them and hopefully everything will be answered. I will also, I hope, show you a couple of things that may surprise you, as they did me. And if you have no interest in them for yourself because your gear is exactly how you want it, then maybe show you how you could use these to make a ton of gold later on. So, let's get into it. So during this event, if you open the event shop located in each of the event towns, you will find the event theme patterns for the gear being sold for event tokens. There are three sets of gear for this event. The Masked Mackerel, which is the heavy set. The Colorful Kraken, or as this piece would suggest, the Colorful Kraken. I'm kidding. I just find it funny, the typos. The Colorful Kraken, which is the light set. And the Sturgeon Style, which is the medium set. Now, before we go any further, these sets look amazing, and I have to say right here that it is a shame we can't somehow convert these to skins. Like have a recipe at the Outfitter Station AGS, where we can bring a collected piece of special event armor that requires the piece be made, that we can then somehow use to craft a salvageable item that teaches us the skin. Because many of us have our gear locked down, but would love to have these event themed things as skins. This would make a ton of people very happy. Just an idea. I just thought I'd point that out. You know, it's your game. You do what you like, but it would be good. Anyways, moving on. So these sets come in the form of patterns. There are two sets of patterns for each set. These patterns are of course green quality, which you can purchase quite cheaply at the bard reputation level of this event. And the orange quality purchased at maestro reputation during the event for much, much more. These patterns create the same items, but they perform in a very different way. So first, let's look at the orange quality ones, as these will be the ones that people will be going for instinctively. When you purchase one of these patterns and take it to the respective crafting station to make it, you will immediately notice a few things. First, it is of course guaranteed to craft a Gearscore 600, which you will at first glance think is amazing. It also requires no armoring skill to craft, again, very amazing. It does require you have a bit of rare cooldown materials however, but that's to be expected. These pieces provide you with the stat option of your choice, dex, con, strength, or intellect, so you can choose which you would like, which again is very nice. Now the downside to this is you will always get refreshing as your first perk. You can't change this, and the second perk will be random. It can't be manipulated, and the perk pool for these is massive. So unfortunately, unless you get very, very lucky, you will almost always get trash. So why on earth would anyone want these? Well, it is a guaranteed 600. And it could roll decent. I am not saying it can't, I am simply saying you may have to roll quite a few, which could get very costly. Where I think these will shine though is for new or fresh 60s. When you craft one of these, you will get an expertise bump in that armoring slot. You will also receive a piece of refreshing gear of your desired attribute with no gear score squishing because it is self-made at gear score 600. And it requires no armoring training to make. So these are very good, especially for new players. Let's have a quick look at some I rolled today for fun to demonstrate.
So you can see I got nothing much to write home about, all basically garbage. So you endgame players, maybe you won't be so interested in these, although another benefit they do offer is they are sellable. So saving a bunch after the event might be a very good idea, because essentially they will be a way for new players to buy unsquished 600 gear score gear and expertise bumps. Now let's have a look at the green quality recipes. These ones really surprised me and may surprise you also. So before I show you why these surprise me, let's talk for a moment about timeless shards. By now we all know how timeless shards work, how to get them and why they are so great. I have no need to cover that. And we all know that as far as value goes, timeless shards are not created equal. Some are used way, way more frequently and drop far, far more rarely, which has a drastic effect on their price. For example, this one, the light pants. The light pants timeless shard can run you thousands of coin per on almost any server. So looking at this timeless shard, nothing really new here. You require 10 times whichever perk item for the stat that you require. Arcane cloth for intellect, rough leather straps or decks. You all know the drill. You will also need to invest some Azoth to guarantee the 4 perks so that it has legendary potential. And of course, you require 200 armoring to use it. So right now you're asking yourself, what the hell is he on about? We know how timeless shards work. What the actual hell does this have to do with the event patterns? Well, here's what surprised me. I mostly ignored these green patterns during the PTR, but I bought one on live and immediately was blown away. I assumed they were low level versions of the same armor on the 600 gear score orange variants, but man was I wrong. These are essentially the event gear with a built-in timeless shard, but even better. They require no perk items to get the guaranteed attribute. You simply choose it. They require no Azoth for the four perks. You simply get them. You require only 150 armoring to use them, not 200. So you see, although these do not guarantee 600 gear score, if you're an endgame crafter with the trophies, the armor set, the earring, the food buff, and all that, this is a way, way better option over the orange guaranteed 600 ones. These allow you to choose your guaranteed perk like a timeless shard, your tributes like a timeless shard, but come at a ridiculously low cost. For a small investment of only 20 regular tokens, you can pick up a light pants green pattern, which is essentially a light pants timeless shard, which costs thousands of gold to get. Or even better, you can buy tons of these and store them away, because they are tradable on the market. So during the event, maybe the value won't be so great. But as we know, after the event, these will be gone. And the value reflected in the current timeless shards will carry over to these. Even more so in that they don't require any additional things timeless shards do. So now do you see why I was so surprised by these? The cheaper, lower rep patterns are in my opinion much, much better than the orange expensive high reputation patterns for endgame players. Better by quite a large margin, in fact. Okay guys, I just wanted to bring this stuff to your attention and hopefully answer the questions I've been getting. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.